good day, Mr. Moflay. Are you good? I'm very great, great, yeah, 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 better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got a few questions for you, right? Okay. And we're gonna cruise with it. Yeah. Right? So the first question I have for you: Are money and passion an either or scenario, or can you make your passion work for you? I believe you have to make your passion work for you, because imagine waking up in the morning and going to do what you do every day and not being happy about it. If you're passionate about something, oh. then the money is almost like a just reward yes. for all the time and the energy and the effort that you're putting into that thing that you love. My second question for you is, is it possible to make a serious career out of your passion? It is very possible to make a serious career out of your passion mm -hmm. because I think about my interest in radio, it started off when I was still very young, mm -hmm. still in high school, and over the years, the interest grew. Mm -hmm. And once I started doing it, then it's almost like the interest and the doing it, you know, matched together. Makes sense. And, and it became my world. It became what I do for a living. So I think it's quite possible. And I believe that if something feels like it's a space in which you belong in, yeah. then you can turn anything into a passion, really. I love that. Thirdly, what advice can you give people on how to find or discover their passion? One of the key things about discovering your passion is honesty. Be honest with yourself. You gotta like, you gotta ask yourself, okay, what do I like? What do I love? When I wake up in the morning, what makes me happy? For some people, it's seeing different places every day. So maybe traveling is where they need to be. Who knows? For some people, is, is, is the natural ability to just entertain the people they happen to be with, mm -hmm. audiences, a group of people, whatever. Maybe I need to be a performer, or maybe I need to be behind the mic. So always ask yourself what it is that you are interested in. Because from your interest, then you'll begin to discover what it is that makes you happy. Mm -hmm. And think about it, when you're doing something that, you, that makes you happy, then yes. you're fulfilled naturally. Mm -hmm. So I think always ask yourself and be honest. I know with radio, a lot of people say radio is very honest. Yes, sir. And it will tell you whether or not you are meant to be behind the mic, okay. or you're meant to be a producer or an engineer, right? And that, that happens eventually, but I think it all starts with just being honest with yourself. Mm. What makes you happy? What do you see yourself doing every single day? Mm. And once you're honest with yourself, then you get to pursue that honesty through doing what it is that you love. What you do should it make you sad. Should never, you happy never. Look, there are things that make me sad in, in, in my line of work, <laughs> especially when I don't get breaks. Yes. Sir. Or like right now, I'm doing a breakfast show. I have to wake up really early. I mean, that makes me sad. But um, once I'm up, once I've hit the shower, and once I'm in the studio, all of that goes away. And that's the thing about it. That's the thing about it. You've got to be able to do something that makes you so happy that no matter what you're going through, no matter what it took for you to get there, being there just makes you happy. Is one's passion a natural talent? or does it require skill and work? I believe that we're all gifted in something, mm -hmm. but you also need to be guided, right? Um, and I love sports, so I always use the analogy of football. There are a lot of talented players, but mm. the right guidance will make you the next star, mm. will make you the jersey number 10. So <laughs> that's the thing. So I, st I think studying plays a huge role in, in helping the talent to mm. really become effective, consistent, mm. and you know, have some sort of destination. I've seen a lot of guys who are talented, but mm -hmm. they don't have the structure, they don't have the discipline, or maybe they didn't take time to empower themselves with the skills they need to give themselves the longevity that is required to be in the mm -hmm. industry. Because the reality is that stardom, fame, whatever it is you want to call it, doesn't just happen overnight. Mm -hmm. It takes mm -hmm. time, and that time is time that you need to be applying yourself. Mm -hmm. And you have to apply principles, certain things. Indeed. At some point, your talent is not really enough. Mm. It's about the other stuff that you learn yes. about life. Just yeah. like how Rome wasn't built in one day. Absolutely. Confucius said, choose a job you love and you'll never have to work a day in your life. While Oprah Winfrey has said, follow your passion and the money will follow. Mr. Flo, what do you think of these statements? I think um, it's true and often the, the happiest people are the people that do what they love. Mm. The happiest people do what they love, and the people that do what they love hardly ever talk about money. They hardly ever talk about, oh, this is how much I got paid for this, or this is how much I get paid for that. They don't make it the central focus of why they're doing what they're doing. Yes. There are many people who have great passion and stuff, who have you know, taken on projects mm -hmm. purely out of passion, mm -hmm. because that's what drives them. They have no idea how much money they're gonna make from it. Probably they'll end up losing money. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important to have that, that, that constant reminder that Yes, it's important to make a living, and it's important to have something that sustains you. But if you do something that makes you happy, then you're always going to be driven to excel. 
And once you excel, there is no way that you're not going to succeed. There's no way that you're not going to be able to make an income out of what you do. When I was growing up, um, the radio industry was quite an attractive space yeah. for a lot of people. But for the older generation, it was, it was like, you know, radio, can you make a career out of yeah. this? Like, yeah. how do you get paid for speaking? So all of those things um, are, are realities that I was confronted with um, yes, when I had to pursue this passion of mine, this yes, thing sir. that I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. But once you get to learn about how the industry works mm -hmm. and what you need to do to make a living out of it, yes. then all of a sudden, you know, everything just falls into place. Ooh. Of course, hard work is key and you need to be yes. focused and you need to be very deliberate in everything you do. Um, I remember telling my mom, because uh, she was like, yeah, well, you're going to Boston. Are we going to pay all these fees? And, you know, I'm like, don't worry. Uh, I'm going to make sure that I, I make it so I can pay you back all the money that you've spent, um, you know, just to put me through school. Yeah. In other words, I'm not going to fail. I'm going to make yes. sure I succeed. Yes. No matter what, it's going to happen. And I guess that's everybody's dream, to pay back their parents. Yeah, to pay back their parents. Um, and I think, for me, the biggest reward for any parent, and I've seen it with mine, is, you know, watching you get to that destination. Mm -hmm or go from the step you were to the next step. That's, that's the biggest reward. It's not even about the money. Mm. Wow, no flavor. Last question I have for you. Does passion evolve or change as you experience life and get older? I love the question about whether or not passion evolves or changes because I'll also add in things like interests. Your interests mm. change. Mm. You know, one minute you're in, you're in radio and maybe you enjoy music radio. And then a few years down the line, you're like, you know what? I think I want to go to, uh, do talk radio. Mm. Or, you know, um, I really had a good time at YFM, but I think it's time for me to go onto a different platform like a Metro FM with mm. a different audience, et cetera. It's a national uh, footprint. So mm. your interests will always change. And I think it's important for you to be uh, real with that. Mm. A lot of people fear change because it's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So there comes a time when you, you think that you no longer driven to do something, it mm. could just be that you need to develop other interests. What that does also is that it keeps your mind active. It mm. keeps you thinking about what to do next. Mm. So you're never comfortable, right? So you may have an interest now, and that's great, but it's always important to have other interests. And it's okay if your interests change, mm. right? My interests have changed over the years many times from you know the radio space, um, one minute, I don't really feel like doing a breakfast show because maybe I don't enjoy waking up. Mm. Whereas in another point in my career, I was like, oh my word, like I don't know what I would do if I got offered a breakfast show. So interests change, right? Because your life also changes. Mm. Um, even with things you do outside of your, your career, whether it's business, it's okay to have different interests. Mm. And I always encourage people to explore them because you're never one thing. And there you have it, Mr. Mo Flavor, all about passion. Thank you so much for answering this lovely question. Nice one. Thank oh. you so much, my dog. Anytime, my brother.